Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to walk through how to apply a TRV to return Canada as a student. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. All right guys, so let's proceed. So guys, uh, when it comes to apply TRV and you have a study permit with you, uh, I have made that video before too, how you can do that yourself. But why I'm making this video again is because recently government of Canada has gone through various changes related to student visa and that has impacted the questionnaire in your GCK account as well. So that is what I want to show you. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And also like I'll be twisting some questions like uh, as you not questions answers so that I can get the proper options exposed to you so that you can uh, get the right set of document checklist. So let's go through this. I click on apply to come to Canada. Mr. Visa, this one I'm going to click. You need to have some patience. I know it's difficult sometimes. What would you like to do in Canada? You need to answer as per your case, OK? This is just sample. This is not real. Let's say you have like one year of work permit left and you want to come back to Canada. You are an Indian citizen, so you have an Indian passport. Your current country, you are in India. Example, you have a family member who is Canadian citizen of PR and is 18 years of age or older. I say let no, but you have definitely provided. Now, date of birth, do it as per your case. Next. You have a provincial attestation letter. I select yes. You need to do uh, like as per your case. Which provincial territory is your provincial letter from? Because now it's mandatory for student visa. So that's why they have given this question. But don't worry, like uh, these questions, like your, your application decision is not going to be made on these questions, but these questions are going to be used to populate the checklist of document. So are you a green card holder? I select no. Have you been accepted to DLA? DLI? Yes, that's why you are going. Are you planning to attend a post-secondary learning? So I select yes. You need to answer as per your case. Have you visited or lived in a designated country for six consecutive months last year? I select no. And of course, sometimes you need to have patience too. Sometimes these pages may load slower than you expect, but you have to bear it with. Have you had a medical uh, exam performed by IRC as a panel physician last 12 months? I select no. If you have done, definitely provide that information. What is your marital status? I select single, never married. But if you have, definitely. What is the province or territory of destination? I select Ontario. You need to do as per your case. Click on next. So see, don't worry that if this is not the correct inform, like current application you are looking for. We we'll still proceed further and find out find that out for ourselves. So, like uh, now, see, uh, it is telling you that it's going to ask you more questions. Definitely. Now, this question is something that is going to change the what do you call? checklist do you have a valid work permit or study permit and need a visa to return to canada this is where i am selecting i have a work i have a study permit now this will completely change you see it will no longer give you a study permit application rather it will give you a trv application that question was a game changer do you want to submit an application for a family member i select no because you are applying alone and are you giving someone access to your application i select no but if you are definitely brought that info in past 10 years, have you given fingerprint and biometrics? I select uh, yes, because you already had the student visa, right? So you have done it. Are there fees associated with the application? Will you be paying the fee? Why not? Yes, I'll be paying the fee. Sometimes show some patience. Are able to make a digital copy of documents? Yes. 
Are you paying the, your application fee online? Yes. If you want to make any changes here, just go through the edit button and make changes. Click on continue. See the checklist has been enabled. OK. You can uh, anything. Okay, you can click on help link for anything and you can see what are the things that are required and you can upload that. Okay, so family information form for this, I'm going to put a link. This one also, I'm going to put a link. And once you uh, upload documents in all the mandatory one, client information letter is not mandatory, but I strongly recommend, okay, that you provide this. And then, uh, once you upload these documents, these uh, these are optional, but why to skip them? Then, uh, and this is mandatory form. So then once you upload, this next button will be enabled. We will go ahead, pay the document, digitally sign your application, and we'll take it out from there. But let's go through this application. Uh, no worries, I'm going to open it in uh, Adobe. Okay, guys, so now while uh, we are going to watch how to fill this form, IMM 5257E application for temp visitor visa, temporary resident visa to return Canada as an international student. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. And I just want to clarify neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys. So we are going to put a sample case that's not real. So you see a unique client identifier. So if you already hold a study permit, definitely you have it. You can refer on all your uh, communication that you have received from IRC, so you're going to find it. But I'm skipping it because it's not mandatory, but that's why I'm doing it. Visa requested. You need to fill this as per your case. I'm just putting a sample. Have you used any other name? I select no, but if you have done, definitely. Date of birth as per your case. City of birth as per your case. Country. Country or territory. Current. current country or country or territory. Okay. Pre previous country or country or territory. During past five years, have you lived in any country or territory other than your country of citizenship? or your current country or territory indicated above for more than six months. So we are making it as a returning student. So definitely they have lived like uh, outside their country. But yes, six months or more that I'm not sure because that's going to be as per your case. But for in this example, definitely select like I I'm selecting yes, but you need to do as per your case. So they have stayed in Canada status student date from and to definitely you provide let's say this guy has lived 2023 be careful of the format guys date formats a lot of people do mistakes in that also no do that country territory same as where you reside applying yes your metal status i select single I have previously married common share. I select no. Native language because the application is from India. So I select Hindi. To do as per your case. Are you able to complete English or French? I select English. Have you taken a test? Yes. He is a student. So he has taken. Passport. Yeah, guys. Be very careful about this. A lot of people do mistakes. Issue date. I'm just putting sample. Do you have a national ID document? So when I had applied for my first application to Canada, I did select yes for this. And uh, I had uh, selected like uh, uh, like uh, my PAN card details. And India, now you get other uh, documents too. So 
it's up to you and i had given that pan card details and i had explained that in my client explanation later and it was happily accepted no issues so it's up to you but for the purpose of this video i'm selecting no but if you have it also depends on your nationality too every country has their own documentation so that's how you should go for it a uh, us pr card i select no green card contact information current mailing address okay i'm just putting some sample Residential address same as mailing. I said yes. So this will be disabled. Phone number. So because it's returning guy, so he may have a Canadian number. It's not mandatory though. Email address very important. Provide it nicely and carefully. Not like what I am doing. It's just a sample, guys. Purpose of my visit? Yeah. So this option is very important. Returning student. Indicate how long you're going to plan to stay. So let's say your plan is to go. And. And let's say your study permit is ending next year. So. I mean, as per your case, how long you plan to do. Once available. Name address or any person institution as a student, you will be visiting your college, right? Provide that information, institution and address. And anywhere else, like if you're like as a student, you might be working somewhere too in your allowed hours. That also you can do. Have you ever held any post secondary education, including university college? Yes. So provide that. Let's say this guy studied just sample. 2018, 2017. Just sample. He. Give full day of your highest level of post secondary education. Okay. So just sample, guys. Like, uh, I'm just thinking, what should I give? Let's say uh, he completed uh, like university degree. Okay. Now he's doing master's. So provide that information, like your university degree. If yes, give the highest level post secondary education. Yeah. So that you can give. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'm just going no, but this question is quite clear. Give the full details like of your highest post secondary education. Employment, give the details of your employment first past 10 years. If you have held any dorm position, give that information. If you are not working or studying, please indicate. So right now he's studying. So let's say like we uh, here. Uh, here. Here, like this guy was studying from this duration to this in Canada. So that will definitely go year a month. Let's say, uh, yeah. So that you provide here uh, activity occupation. If you're not working uh, during any time, you do that as well. First is always mandatory, like you go have to go to that order. And then, uh, okay, let me just give it to past 10 years. So let's say, 2024. Uh, 04. I'm not sure if it will accept the same months, but we'll do the valid validation. Right now you are not working. In country employer. Company employer then not applicable. We can do where you are New Delhi. India. You can explain this in your letter, but before that, let's say you have studied oh, 2023 04. We selected or three, whatever 2024. Oh, sorry, before 03 previous exit. Let's say you were studying, studying. Your facility, you, you know your college name, right? Let's say you were studying in Toronto, Canada, province Ontario, and other activities. They have asked for past 10 years. 
So you can like working or whatever you are doing, you can do it. Now the question arises, what if this, uh, this much space is not sufficient? What you can do uh, in your client explanation later, uh, attach a sheet, include the form number and this question number, like copy this section and provide additional information that you are doing. And that should be, uh, that should be okay and explain that in your client explanation later too. Many people have done it and have been successful. Within the past two years, have you found your tuberculosis? Now read these questions very carefully and then answer. Have you ever remained beyond the validity of your status? No. Do, have you ever been asked to uh, leave Canada any country? Have you previously applied to enter or remain in Canada? Yes, because you are a returning student. So you had applied to uh, become a student, right? And you traveled. So provide that information very carefully and nicely in your words. Have you ever committed any crime or arrested for serving military militia? I said, like, no. Read these questions nicely and then do. You contact to contact with CHR nation in future? Yes, no. I said, like, yes. Date you can do. Now, one thing is very sure you don't need to sign this application even if you are applying online, but let me see if I can put the name. Yeah. Now, one thing you do first of all, like, save uh, save it but before that validate it oh type this i missed i told you any validation error you do this is gonna catch okay but this is just the format and mandatory field but the actual information you need to do the verification yourself save it and then go back to the checklist and upload it all right now i'll go back to the checklist OK, so guys, we are back to the checklist. So this one I showed you just. These documents I have already explained. This one I'm going to include a link. This one I'm going to include a link. So uh, then we can. Uh, like uh, then as, as I had explained earlier, once you complete all the mandatory slot, next option will be created here. That is how it works. Guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.